Hello and welcome to the 34th tutorial on the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at moving a view. We'll be using the source code from the 33rd tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have a view set up. We will now look at moving it, which could be used for in a game to scroll it if the user drags it with the mouse or on a mobile device, maybe they use a finger or two fingers to drag it. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. SFML fortunately provides us some great methods for moving views. So moving a view is extremely simple. The first method we will use offsets the view from its current position, hence it can be applied multiple times. So what we're going to do, go down to here. Actually, we'll just do it over here. Now we're going to do view dot move SF vector to F. And in here we're going to put 50 by 100. And actually before we run it with this line of code, I'm going to run it without it so you can see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. And now what we're going to do is just delete the comment. And you might think it hasn't changed. And it hasn't changed. It's not that this code is wrong. And what the problem is, when you set the view like this window does set view it doesn't create a pointer to this view hence any changes don't get propagated to the window it creates a local copy so every time you make a change to the view you have to run this window dot set view line again don't worry about performance when setting the view as it is just a bunch of float variables or so it is very light so you could be setting it in the more loop if you want to so what we've got to do is just copy and paste this, we'll just put it here. Now let's run our application. As you can see, it has now moved. The view has slightly moved down and to the right, so this little white border on the image is invisible anymore. So what we're going to be doing is, uh, we're gonna apply this multiple times, so you can see that it can be applied multiple times as it offsets the position to it, uh, offsets the current the position from its current position. Oopsie daisy, I don't know what I did there. Oh, I clicked Alt instead of Control. So yeah, let's just do the run our application again. There you go. It has moved even more. The view has. You can also move the view relative to the window. So what we're going to do is just comment these lines out and then just move the view relative to the window. So for that, we're going to do view dot set center as if vector to f 300 by 300. And now if we just run our application, we have it and it has moved it to 300 by 300, as you can see right here. There is it. Uh, actually, what we'll do is gonna copy and paste this multiple times, so you can see that this doesn't have any additional effect. It still remains in the same position because this is relative to its original position, not its current position. No task. Try using the skills learned earlier in this series to detect key events and move the view using the arrow keys or the W A S D keys. That's it for this tutorial. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at rotating a view. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the requirements for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.